The best-selling CD this Christmas, I'm sure. Our first review this week is Rebel Assault on the Mega CD. You play a rebel rookie pilot. The game has 15 levels, which include scenes from the first two Star Wars movies. There are some stunning intro and between level sequences, which whet your appetite for a real Star Wars feast. But great movie sequences don't necessarily make for a great game. The big test is, how does it play? With the answers, Sir Hale. The game gets off to a bad start where you test your flying skills in the so-called Beggar's Canyon. The controls are unresponsive and you'll die many deaths before you get anywhere. This is one of my favourite bits of the film, the snow speeder attack on the Atats. The graphics are quite good from afar, but when you get close to the Atat, you realise how poor they really are. Another bad thing about the gameplay on this level is that you can't control where your snow speeder goes. You just fire, which is really boring. There's one good thing about this level, though, the sound effects and the music. This is the Stormtrooper base on Hoth, and basically it's just more shooting. Again, this level's really disappointing as you've got really limited control. You can only move left and right, you can't even move forward. I really wanted to like this because I love the Star Wars films, but it's just an average game that looks like it's been thrown together in a bit of a rush. I quite like this. It's hard at first, but you pick up new skills as you go along. I marked this down because the control system is poor, which I think spoils the playability. And so the final scores for Rebel Assault, both the boys and the girls gave it a keep practicing, Luke, three out of five.